Good morning, everybody. It's about 10.30ish in the morning on Sunday, April 21st, I think. Um, we are obviously headed out. We're in the car. Um, we're getting gas and running a few errands. And then we may meet up with our friends, Willie and Helen, again. Um, we haven't heard back from them yet this morning. But yeah, we're going to make time for that. Um, because they're in town and they're just fabulous, them and their family. So, uh, yeah, um, but we need to pick up a few things for the new entertainment wall that we made. Um, some greenery I don't have to worry about keeping alive. And, um, Mr. needs a couple, he needs a frame for his office for something dang in his office and uh, random other stuff. So we're going to go do that. And I'm still full from last night. The food was so good and I ate way more than I usually do for dinner. Um, so I've only had coffee this morning. Did I ha have I had enough coffee? Well, that's debatable. <laughs> I might need more while we're out, but we'll see. All right, that's it for the minute. <clears throat> we're gonna get the car filled up and then hit the road. I'll be back. I would say good morning, but it's already 12.56. It is Monday, April 22nd. I just spent a bit of time catching up on my daily um, writing journal, my daily drawing journal, and editing the vlog. It is currently uploading to YouTube right now for scheduling for Wednesday. Um, Bob has been to the office and back. I answered a Facebook Marketplace reply to one of the things I have for sale. Um, they're gonna be by at two o'clock. Uh, it's been a busy morning. Are you getting that impression? Yeah. So anyway, I've only had nuts to eat today, so I probably should eat something else. Yeah. So at the very least, a cup of bone broth, but yeah, I should eat something else. All right, I'll I be got My drawings cut up, as I said. My journaling caught up, as I said. My Lose It app, which I've been using to track what I eat and how much I'm exercising for a long time now. My husband does too, but I we were both behind. I just got that caught up. Yes, the vlog is loaded and scheduled for Wednesday. It's all edited and everything, obviously. Um, I think the only thing I have left to do is the blanket and then random things like dishes and everyday chores. That's pretty good, I think. I like it. It's a good Monday. I'll be back. Okay, so we are headed out for a walk. I finished another blanket. It is kid sized. I wouldn't say baby size, maybe toddler size. Anyway, I'll try to remember to take a picture and stick it here. Um, this one's like blues, purples with a little bit of pink, white. The next one's gonna be just pink and white, probably about the same size. So anyway, we have a few books from the purge pile of books that we have going on that I know the kids aren't gonna want. So we are gonna go stick them in the book box. And yeah, I'm kind of wondering if whatever books are left, maybe with the exception of Mr.'s college calculus book, um, we should find out what the list of like book boxes are around the Tigard area, uh, King City, Tualatin, Sherwood, Portland. Like deposit a few books in all of them. <laughs> I mean, that might be interesting, like, Saturday thing to do. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, so... What if you can Google it? I, I'm going to, or post something in the um, Facebook group for the city where we live. Yeah. Or maybe in uh, next door. Yeah, so I'll keep you posted. All right, I'll be back. Hey, guys. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, April... 24th, I think. Um, yesterday, I don't think I vlogged at all. And if I did, I didn't do much. Um, it was babysitting day. And we had a really good day. He wasn't fussy, not one single time. It was such a good day. Um, I know he's, an, he's a little kid, so those are going to be few and far between, but it was a good day. Anyway, not that fussy days are not good days. You know what I mean. We are obviously in the car. It's just before 10 a.m. I have a $10 voucher for Michael's and a 20% off coupon. So we're gonna go there. 
I did order some yarn from Joann's for a granny square blanket project I have coming up that I think will be perfect for this summer. I've got two of them I want to do. Um, one of them is more muted vintage colors and I did order some yarn on the Joann's website. Hopefully they're the right colors. I don't have to take any back to the store, but we'll see. Um, the one color I'm having trouble finding is sort of a muted, and by muted, I don't mean pastel. Um, I mean not neon yellow, um, something that's more goldenrod. That ages me, I know, but anyway, y'all know what I mean. So we're going to go over to Michael's and see if I can find that. I also have a tote bag project I want to do, and I want to use some tote bags I already have, but I also want to see what they have at Michael's. And uh, we'll see how far I can make this $10 stretch. I do have a little bit of cash on me, but yeah. All right, let's go do it. I'll be back. Found the color of yarn I was looking for. Goldenrod? Maybe? What's the name of it, the actual name of it? Let's see, mustard. So that's the color I wanted. I got two of those. Um, I also got a couple of plain canvas tote bags um, for a project I wanna do that I will probably film. Um, each of the skeins was originally $3.99 and then the two tote bags were originally $4.99. I got 20% off all the items and then I also had a voucher, um, $10 voucher. Michael's does this thing where every so many dollars you spend, you get money, like to keep you coming in. Anyway, sometimes they give the vouchers away. This time I used it. Uh, anyway, the original price was, I don't know, $3.99, $3 $3.94, so $8. Mm, like $18. I, um, I live in Oregon, so there's no no tax. Um, I saved $13.59. I only paid $4.37 for two skeins of yarn and two bags, which is why I came today. So anyway, we're going to go head home now, and I'm going to work on my current blanket project, get the next one ready, um, and um, I have these two tote bags, and then now I have... And then there's one more at home. So that'll work. And I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Guys, all right. I have to do the dishes again because, you know, people live here. We dirty dishes. I just folded some of my laundry. Um, I did get a very nice phone call from a young man on the East Coast in Maryland. Um, I had to verify who he was before I talked to him, which I did with my niece. And he is a friend of theirs who is um, on the Cutco selling bandwagon. Now, I know, I know what you're all saying. It's like Tupperware or Pampered Chef or one of the, it is. However, I love my Cutco knives and they are guaranteed for life. We had one after we moved, the blade separated from the handle. It, broken two pieces. I didn't really believe about the guarantee until that happened. Contacted Cutco directly. They replaced the knife. And they said it will probably take a while. We need to get the broken one in first before we send you the new one. I said, that's fine. Do you, can you send me a new another one in the meantime? So I actually now have seven instead of six. Um, we've had our set of Cutco at least 10 years. I think it's been longer than that though. We use them daily, on the daily. Um, we love them. They are sort of spotted with hard water spots, but they get used all the time. And um, this is a very nice young man. He's just getting started. And um, I'll put his contact information down below. I do have fancy knives. And I do use them. I'm the only one in the house that will use them because people are worried about cutting their fingers off. But I do have these. These are really nice knives. But they cost a lot more. And they you can't put them in the dishwasher. The Cutco you can, with caution, and you put them by themselves. You don't put them with other things. We've been doing that for uh, since we've had them, and it's been great. So his name is Max. He was very sweet. Um, he says, wait, you do YouTube? I mean, because, you know, I get chatty on the phone, especially when I don't know people. Anyway, 
Um, so we ended up talking about crochet and art and he was trying to sell me knives, but we talked about my YouTube channel. I, you know, I don't know. But anyway, he, as part of the conversation, I did figure out he's probably young enough to be my grandson, but you know, that's, you know. Anyway, I got most of my laundry put away, not all of it, but the pile's smaller. Anyway, I am going to do the dishes. I'm working on the blanket. I've been working on the pink and white blanket all day. It's getting closer to being done. I also planned out the next two blankets upstairs. So my table is covered in yarn. And yeah, I think that's it for the minute. I think we're gonna go out to uh, Trader Joe's after Bob gets off of work. I need some more oat milk and a couple other things. And he wants to come with me because I think there's probably some stuff he wants. So we're gonna go do that together later. Well, later being probably in a little bit if he doesn't have a meeting. Let's see, what time is it? Yeah, it's almost six, so in a bit. I better do the dishes. It's just done. It didn't take long, but you know, it's not my favorite chore. <laughs> that and bathrooms. I know, I know y'all out there can relate. It's not our favorite thing, right? All right. Yeah, Max, that was a very fun conversation. Uh, Max was very sweet on the phone. It was fun to talk to him. So anyway, he'll probably go very far with this salesman thing because I think, I think he's got the talking talent that need, is required for that. So anyway, all right. I think that's it. I think I can sit down for a few minutes, maybe. As soon as I do, he's going to be ready to go to the store. But, you know, what are you going to do? All right, I'll be back. Hey, guys. All right, it's 5.21 p.m., Thursday, April 25th. I haven't vlogged before today, before now, because it's babysitting day. Tuesdays and Thursdays are babysitting days, and occasionally other days of the week, which I guess is going to be this week. Maybe tomorrow, but maybe Monday. I don't know. Anyway, all the babysitting, I'm happy to help out. Don't get me wrong. Love my grandson dearly. Wouldn't trade it for anything on the planet. It does mean I'm really, really busy and don't have nearly as much time to film tutorials as I used to. I will be trying to figure out a schedule. He is a year old. I know it's taking me this long. <laughs> I will try to figure out a schedule so that I can at least occasionally, once or twice a month, film something besides the vlog. Um... But yeah, it's been difficult. Anyway, um, husband is off to his Masonic Lodge meeting. I have all the chairs and everything up because we are going to sit here on the sofa, eat some dinner salad and have some bread, homemade bread, uh, crochet, watch some YouTube while Hazel, our robot vacuum, does some work. Sounds like a plan to me. I'll be back. And I'm starving, so I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 9.41 a.m. Friday, April 26th, I think. It is Friday. Um, I'm out getting some... Well, I'm supposed to be getting food for family dinner night, which is tonight. Um, but I did stop by Joanne's and I got a Pound of Love, Lion Brand Pound of Love in this color. What color is this? Thistle. Um, I'm collecting colors and big pound balls just because I don't want to run out of yarn um, for an upcoming Afghan project that'll be probably one that I keep um, a sort of muted nature colors retro sort of yeah anyway um, and it'll be granny squares so um, yeah it's going to be an ongoing thing I have two of those that I'll be working on probably simultaneously and I do a square here for one square there for the other one um anyway I have some yarn colors coming in the mail um but then I got some coupons for Michael's which I went to the other day and then I got coupons a coupon for Joann's and this yarn ball is usually I think $9.99 sorry $11.99 um it was on sale for $7.99 and then I had a $5 off coupon. I ended up paying $3 for the ball of yarn. And that's only because I donated a penny to their charity thing. You round it up. Anyway, pretty good deal for a pound of yarn. Um, all right, I am going to head over to the grocery store now. And yeah, then we'll go home and 
work on the next blanket, scrap blanket, which is not this one. It's a, um, hopefully that's not a chip in my window. Um, <laughs> hope um, it's a scrap, another scrap Afghan and it's blacks and grays with a little bit of blue and cream. So opposite of the one I just did, which was very bright and candy cane colored. Cause yeah, all right. That's it for the minute, I'll be back. Good afternoon, it is Saturday, April 27th, I think. Hold on, I'm not yes. sure. April 27th. It is about 12.30, I think, uh, just after lunch. Bob is off uh, at the gun range with some of the kids. Um, <clears throat> I'm not into weapons, but they are, so have at it. Anyway. With some of my favorite pretzels, just anyway. anyway. Um, I'm here doing some chores, laundry, that sort of thing. We have a crap ton of shopping bags in both cars. Um, you know, COVID got us out of the habit of using most of them. And there's a couple of bags in there that don't really work for groceries for various reasons. But I have a couple of upcoming Afghan projects. And I think one of them, which is a large flat rectangular bag, it would be really great to put all the different colored yarn balls in. I could just have that. I could put the patterns and the little notions bag with the hooks in it in between the yarn balls and then just carry it around with me around the house and stuff. That would work really well. I saw a video recently where a guy used a um, wooden crate um, for the yarn for his temperature blanket. And I thought, okay, I don't wanna go buy a wooden crate. And that would be hard for me to carry up and down the stairs and stuff. But the bag I don't use for its intended purpose would be perfect and it's free. And yes, so I did something to my wrist last night, um, probably picking up grandson and it's bothering me. It doesn't actually hurt to crochet, it hurts to do everything else. Um, <laughs> and it doesn't hurt hurt, it's, it's sore and tender. I probably picked him up the wrong way. Anyway, little little dues heavy. So I'm gonna go check the mail, get the bag out of my car, uh, get that set up at least partly. Then I've got to finish laundry. I need to fill up my pill box for my medications uh, and all of that stuff. We're going to run errands later. So I kind of need to know if I'm low on anything before we go do that. So. Boring stuff, really. And I am working on the next afghan, which is black, white, gray, a little bit of blue. And I'm so far doing pretty good, I think. So we'll be working on that as we have time. And like I said, my wrist, it doesn't bother me to crochet. It just, you know, is kind of tender for everything else. So that's fun. <laughs> good thing I have these because, you know, it's happened before. Mm -hmm. All right, Guys, I'll be back. It is Saturday night, late to after 10 o'clock. I know that because my go to bed alarm went off. It's 20 after. 20, see, 20 after. Um, we've been home for a while after do running some errands and just relaxing. I've been working on my latest blanket, <coughs> which is, hold on, this one exact opposite in color scheme from the last one which Bob nicknamed the peppermint blanket. Looks like peppermint candies. It, it kind of does. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, and now we're playing our brain games. I've got to catch up on some daily drawing. Then I'm going to go to bed. Anyway, it's been a good week. Busy week, but a good week. Next few weeks are going to be kind of busy. There's a lot going on, but that's okay. Um, we're going to be going on some more vacations in the near future. And there's other stuff going on. We'll bring you with us where we can. Anyway, uh, I hope that this gives you some inspiration how you can fit your creativity into your everyday life. And um, how you can enjoy it and not get overwhelmed because that's a thing. Um, that's it, I think, this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for relevant links. Um, I do have a bunch of designs over at Art Foamies and over at Rubber Moon Stamps, two different companies, FYI. And um, 
I know Art Foamies has been um, advertising with one of mine lately, but I love all of their products. So even if you don't go buy mine, go buy something. They're USA mom and pop company. So anyway, I think they both are, but yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm gonna finish my brain game puzzle things and do my drawings and I will see you next week. Bye guys.